Maranatha, my PBC family and friends. Pastor Brian here with another quick bite, living the word. Today our words are going to come from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, a very familiar verse that we hear. Um, particularly as we're looking at our Thanksgiving week, and I'm thinking about the Thanksgiving holiday and things that are coming up. I got thinking about something else about thanks that, um, and Thanksgiving that we don't necessarily think about very often. And when you get to 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, I want to read just one verse to begin with, and we'll come back and look at some other verses to go along with it. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 says this, And everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Now, here's a crazy thing. In everything, give thanks. I want you to think about the worst thing that's happened to you, be it in the last week, be it in the last month, be it in the last year, perhaps even in your lifetime. The worst thing that happened to you. Now, we all have different stories. We all have horrible things that have happened to us. And we all go, well, I don't, I don't understand how that was a good thing. It's not a good thing. But what I am telling you is God can use those as good. But this is really what I want you to get. Have you ever thanked God for that bad thing? that hard thing. Have you ever thanked God for it? Because in everything we're supposed to give thanks. Well, that doesn't make sense. Why would I thank God for you know my loss of a loved one? Why would I thank God for my loss of my job? Why would I thank God for, you just fill in the blank. Why would I thank God for that? Well, because here's the deal. We can thank God because we know first and foremost that this is the will of God in our lives. We know that he's working all things to the good of them who are called according to his purpose in Christ Jesus. He's not necessarily, doesn't mean everything's good. It means he's working it all to our good. He's helping us to get somewhere with these things. Which is exactly why it says in verse 16 and 17, rejoice evermore and pray without ceasing. In other words, we should always be joyful, even in the hard circumstances. It doesn't mean we're happy about what's going on. Happiness and joy are not necessarily synonymous. And so, but we're rejoicing evermore and we're praying without ceasing. So I know for me, one of the things that hard things do is it drives me to my knees. It drives me to a place where I got to depend upon God for the outcomes. Therefore, I can give thanks to God. Because at the very least, those hard things draw me closer to him, make me more dependent upon him. So we can rejoice evermore, pray without ceasing, and then what? Give thanks. Give thanks for everything. Great word. You know what the word everything in Greek means? Everything. In all things we're giving thanks because God is in control. Well, God's in control. Why would he allow this? Why would this? Da, da, da. I don't know why he's working into those things. Now I'm going to give you something in our own lives personally that I think about when I think about these things. So, as many of you know, uh, before our son Jaden was born, uh, shortly after Ms. Shawn and I got married, uh, we, we, she got pregnant, and uh, we, we were expecting a child. And we had a late-term miscarriage. And what is interesting about this is, as I look back on our life, it was probably one of the more difficult things to go through. I know it's certainly one of the more difficult things for Shawn to go through. And, uh, you know, because there's a different attachment, we be honest, right? There's a different attachment for a pregnant woman than the, the man who has a pregnant wife. But it was still a hard thing for both of us. But I can tell you, looking back today, we can give thanks for that because we know, first and foremost, where that child's at. But second of all, we can be give thanks because we know that God used that for our good. Our hearts weren't ready to help raise a child up in the Lord. Our hearts weren't ready to drive a child to the, to, to, to the cross, so to speak. We weren't ready in any way, shape, or form. We weren't even ready in our own marriage. It would have been one more stressor in our marriage. And who knows what that stressor may have caused. And so I thank God, as crazy as it's going to sound, for that miscarriage. It doesn't mean I, I thought it was a great thing to have to watch my wife go through or a great thing for us to have to go through. But I thank God for it nonetheless. Because I know that my God works all things to the good of them who are called according to his purpose in Christ Jesus. I may not understand it all on this side of heaven, and I'm okay with that. But I know my God is working it for our good. So this Thanksgiving season, maybe rather than just being thankful for everything we normally are thankful for, a warm place to sleep, you know, a home, a friends, a church family, our jobs, whatever the case may be, how about taking that thing, that hard thing that you're holding bitterness over, and thanking God for it, because he's working mightily. I love you, we love you, God loves you, and God's got this.